So, Vlad, we're going to let you show us the improvements we've made to the performance and scalability of Networker 8. Thank you, Stephen. In addition to several major features, EMC continues to invest in overall performance and scalability improvements in Networker. And I would like to take a few minutes to walk you through some of them. On the client side, we have a new exciting feature of the client side deduplication with data domain. This new functionality reduces the amount of data moved from client to the backup storage. Specific to Microsoft Windows, we have significant improvements on VSS workflows. And also on the client side, we have optimized the algorithm on how data is read from disk to improve overall performance. On the Netflix server side, we introduced a new database engine, which reduces CPU load while allowing Netflix server to scale to the levels of tens of thousands of jobs per day. Also, significant improvements to the internal maintenance tasks mean the Netflix server spends less CPU time and more time performing your backup jobs. On the Netflix storage node side, we have a new management model, which allows for higher scalability for any number of devices without impact to overall performance. And on the backup storage side, we have deduplication optimizations for VTL, which allow any number of multiplex streams to go to virtual tape libraries without impact to deduplication. And most importantly, we have a new backup to disk engine, which allows network to scale for time to come. With respect to transport, we have a new client direct functionality to select the shortest data path from client to backup storage, as well as optimizations for the high-speed networks. As I just talked about, Every backup component in Networker 8 has received some improvements in performance and scalability areas. And all this is to allow you to achieve full IT backup transformation. Back to you guys.